welterweight division World Series of Finance. We take a look at the tail of the tape. John Fitch, 38, 60, 170. There you see his reach. His opponent, Joel Seferino, 30 years of age, 5'11", 170, and a 73-inch reach. This is a title bout as we send it inside to Jessica. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your co-main event of the night. Brought to you by Sam Nutrition. We deliver results. Five rounds for the World Series of Fighting Welterweight Championship of the World. And now, introducing on my left, fighting out of the blue corner of the Decagon. His record, 20 victories versus seven defeats. Five feet, 11 inches tall, 170 pounds. Fighting out of Middletown, New York, by way of Florianopolis, Brazil. Introducing Joel. The Brazilian Samurai Zeferino! And now his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, his record, 31 victories, seven defeats, one draw, and one no contest. Standing six feet tall, weighing 170 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas by way of Fort Wayne, Indiana, presenting John Fitch! Your referee for this fight is Mark Smith. Stay back, Joel. So we are set to go, filling that vacancy in the welterweight division. Joel Seferino out of Brazil, training with the great Henzo Gracie. John Fitch. Out of Fort Wayne, now training here in Las Vegas, one kicks Jim. That's a good John pick ready. for him. John, ready? Fight on. Wrestler, training, striking. Two guys with a lot of experience as you flash back to the eight-man tourney we had in Phoenix earlier, and it was Juan Seferino really surprising a lot of people with his leg locks. Glad to have you with us here in Las Vegas, live on NBCSN, Todd Harris, Boss Root, and Joey Varner, as we start with the welterweight fight scheduled for five rounds for the belt at the World Series of Fighting. John Fitch in the black trunks, Joel Seferino in the blue with the red trim. And you gotta feel John Fitch is loving the pace right here as this is a striking match, although Fitch looking for an early takedown. Yeah. Mm. He's got to watch out, he's got to be on top, and he's got to stay out of the guard, and the half guard as well, if it goes to the ground. I had a chance to speak with John yesterday after Wayne's, and he said this fight is, is so much different because mainly his diet has changed. Working with the great Manny Torres, he said his diet is completely different there as John Seferino on the break, not happy with what's going on. Fitz telling me that he is really dedicating this fight to his father, Mike Fitch, watching back home in Indiana, suffered a heart attack. Ooh. Glad to have him still with us, but John has some extra motivation, not only from his wife, Michelle, and his boys, Atlas and Mason, but he wants to bring home this belt for his dad. Low, stay low. Stay low. That's always good motivation. No Family. question about it. Joan Seferino, though. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Uh, he said John Fitch will oh. not surprise me after his 10-week training camp really put in the work. But I tell you what, John Fitch may be one of the craftiest fighters we have in the World Series of Fighting. He says his, his mind is like an engineer. He likes to solve problems. The problem he's going to solve right now is staying away from those leg locks of Joan Seferino. Yeah, all I can ask him about my neck, you know, I... <laughs> That's not a problem that he specializes in. He specializes in, in twisting necks, yeah. not in fixing them. Good action early on here, round one. This one's scheduled for five. For a guy with a very strong wrestling background, John Fitch looks pretty good. His striking, his boxing looks very sharp. Yeah, no, he, he improved dramatically on his striking. And it's just a feeling out process. You know that big things are going to happen. We're just going to connect. Both of these guys connected a few times. Seferino really nice also with the striking. That's a 
great matchup in the welterweight division of the World Series of Fighting. Nice straight left there, and it's John there Finch who gets the early takedown. Zeferino gets right back to his feet. Wow, very nicely done. Double underhook. Yeah. Finch you throw those knees harder. Even harder. Nice knees. But it can always be harder, I say. That's nice, too. Got to keep doing that. Fitz recognizing the takedown attempt, steps away, and they break. Coming up in a minute to go here in round number one. This one's scheduled for five. Side low kick. I think well, Luki. Trying to solve a puzzle again. Yes, he is. John Fitz in the black trunks coming nice. forward. Again, take that attempt back to their feet. Your left hand's got to be up, huh? Hold on, hold on. There you go. You can touch his hands with it and then throw something. Touch his right hand and throw your jab. Touch his right hand and throw your throw. There you go. Constant coaching coming from both sides. As we approach 30 seconds to go here in this title bout for the welterweight strap of the World Series of Fighting. And Fitch again going for the takedown and a nice piece of scramble work there by Joan Zeferino. Zeferino is doing a really good job with his takedown defense. 10 seconds, and Fitch committed to this takedown. He's going to run out of time. When we come back, we will have the second round here from Las Vegas. Over here, draw. We welcome you back to Las Vegas, Nevada, World Series of Fighting 30. Todd Harris, Boss Root, and Joey Varn at the start of round number two of our title fight in the welterweight division. It's John Fitch on the left side of your screen. On the right is John Seferino. As we get ready for this second round, this one's scheduled for five as we check in with Joey Varner. All right, Todd, in the corner of Joao Zeferino, the instructions were clear and concise. Start using that jab. When John Fitz jabs, parry and jab back. Control the center of the cage, and most importantly, don't forget your bread and butter, your jiu-jitsu. Yeah, no question about that. That's some pretty good bread and butter too, right, boss? Very nice, yep, I like it. But then, you know, he maybe shoot one time. If it, if it take down, if, if John Fitch goes for a takedown, let it be taken down. And right away, go for leg locks. You know, leg lock guys can always find space to throw a leg lock in. Just have to make sure that he's not mount. Nice combination there. And John Fitch comes out with a leg kick as they break. But Joan Seferino doing his damage there on the combination. Boss, you like to see those punches and bunches. And again, it is John Fitch going for the takedown attempt. You know, and this is only the, first, uh, the second round, so we have three more rounds to go after this. We know John Fitz can keep grinding right. like this constantly. And shooting and shooting and shooting. Can he wear down his opponent? That's the trick question of tonight. We're going to have to figure out. Are you surprised that Fitch is going for the takedowns and not keeping this a stand-up fight, knowing that Zeferino is so good as Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in the leg locks? Well, uh, 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 yeah, well, apparently I, I think that he, he feels that uh, Zeferino striking is doing really well. That's most of the time the, the reason he goes for a takedown. If he would be really good and feel comfortable on his feet, he wouldn't shoot for a takedown. There you go. Don't get moving too fast. 
to him. I think, oh, it's a little equal. Let's see what happens if I take it to the ground and be on top and just keep on ground and pounding. Fitch, a tremendous wrestler in his own right, collegiate level, and here he is locked up against the cage with Zeferino. Nice takedown defense again by Zeferino. I like the underhooks and the way how high he pulls them up. Very hard for a fighter to drop because you can't. He's carrying your weight, he's pulling you up. You can't grab a leg. No takedown. the fight you expected, boss. No. Both these guys really ground game specialists and it's turned into a, a boxing match. Most of the time that's the case. If you have two wrestlers at least, or two ground fighters, they're gonna fight it out on the feet. Because it's like both don't want to take the chance that they lose by submission or wrestling. See what I mean? So they brawl it out on the feet. John Finch again initiating the takedown attempt. Has a single and now he's just trying to trap that right arm. Just enough time to give himself a chance to strike quickly and score some points. Suck that bottom leg out. Suck that bottom leg out. Suck that bottom leg out. Man, Seferino is really good with his yeah, takedown yes. defense and getting back up. 90 seconds to go here in round number two. This one's scheduled for five. The welterweight belt is on the line. One of these men will leave tonight a champion. Wow, Fitch. Yeah, he he's time just to pick him up and drop him. And we know that he's been doing this his whole life. Now, this is his style. Let's see what Fitch can do with this now when Zeferino's defense on the ground has been stellar. Zeferino just looking to his right, his corner, about five feet away, getting direction in both English and Portuguese. Yeah, maybe he's looking up at uh, one of the big screens also to see what's the time. What do we have left? 30 to seconds hook. to go. You see, he wants to hook there for a leg. He can't use it as a reversal because the fence is over there. So he's fishing for a leg with his right arm right now. And I'm talking about, of course, Zeferino on the bottom. John Fitch making the most of the final 10 seconds. As we get set, we'll step aside. We'll have the third round when we return to Las Vegas. Back in Vegas for the start of the third right round here. This one's scheduled for five with the welterweight belt on the line. John Fitch in the black trunks. Joan Seferino, Brazil in the blue, red, and white. And early on, it is John Fitch initiating the contact as he tries to walk down Zeferino with kicks and punches. And for more on John Fitch's corner, we check in with Joey. Todd in the corner of John Fitch, the advice was pure boxing. They said keep your hands high, keep moving your head, press in the action, stay long with your hands, and let them go fast. 
That's, this is what I thought. He's going to fish for a leg. He needs to be at least in the half guard in order for him to get a leg lock. You're talking about Fitch? Uh, I'm talking, yep. Fitch is now in the half guard. He shouldn't be there. I wouldn't do that. Because it's going to be, uh, yeah, easier to lock. You need to secure the hips. Like an arm bar, you secure the head. With, with leg locks, you have to secure the hips. And you can't do that if your opponent is in your guard. But in half guard, it's much easier to go to that. Zephyrino there we go. There. He wants to go over, roll yep. into a knee bar now. All the way on the top. He might, or he might even go for an arm. What is it? Is he has an arm on this side? I can't tell what he's going for. He's either going for the leg or for the arm. Looks okay, like, he's going like for the arm. arm. Okay, yeah, it's a Kimura. I thought he was going to go all the way over. It, it could be wow. a setup and go for the leg. You know, that he lets the arm go and then go for the leg and he has a knee bar. John Fitch told me he has trained with several leg lock specialists in preparation of this fight with Joan Seferino, who put on a leg lock show back in Phoenix in the eight-man tournament. Yeah. So dangerous, boss. You have that top position, you're raining down punches, and you make one wrong placement with the arm or the leg, and Seferino's going to grab it, twist it, and you're going to be tapping out. That's it. And, but, but, you know, like you said, John already said that he trained with good leg lock guys, and he's putting himself in a great position the whole time right now. What he's doing is good. I should use elbows instead of punches. Seferino's right arm trapped under the left leg of Fitch. And really, he's just in a bad spot right now. He's trapped up against the, up against the fence, and John Fitch is well on the outside, and they nice. get back to their feet. Almost looked like he could have done that sooner, right? It was yep. so easy the way he got up. Why he didn't do that? Maybe he tried it out one time to drop. Said, okay. If it goes to the ground, let's see if I can fish your leg out there. Boss, in a fight like this where both fighters clearly have the cardio, have the strength, have the wrestling, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, the complete packages, are you thinking about conserving any energy to go the distance in the five rounds? Or are you trying to say, i got to end this thing now, I'm not going to worry about four and five? No, no, you, that's, that's, a, that's a big gamble to do, you know, you don't want to do that. You, w once you see your opponent slowing down, yeah, you can take that risk, but right now nobody's slowing down, yeah, everybody's looking pretty good. even. So uh, th those decisions in the fourth round, four, four, four and a half rounds, and then the fifth round, that's where you can really go to, to town wow. on your opponent, stop pushing. Both these guys have such excellent defense on the shot oh. attempts and a back spinning elbow from John Fitch. Look at that. Did not see that coming, nor did Joan Seferino. Nice low kick again. Boy, and John Seferino really looks to be gassed here. He's That's really it. slowing down. And, and you know what? And like I said before, Fitch can do this five rounds. It's going to be a nightmare for him. If he's gassed right now, it's a problem. He's got a minute 10 to go here in round three. And then he's looking at a very tough four and five if he can get that again. distance. And here he is Kimura. fishing now, this time for an arm. Yeah, he's looking for the Kimura the whole time. And that's a game changer when you have that level of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You catch an arm even though you're gassed on your back. You can finish the it. fight right there. Yep. It was really cool what he did before, that whole 180 turn. Yeah. Because it could it went for a run, but he could have done also for a leg. Boy, this is just, this is survival. Zeferino now looking to get lucky, possibly with some up kicks. John Fitch comes right back in. Fitch got to watch out. He's got to keep on throwing. Yep. He's got to keep on throwing. Don't let him think. Don't let him start yep. fishing for legs. Get a butterfly guard. Final 10 seconds. Nothing. Looking for a knee bar again, but there's no time for it. Three rounds complete. We'll have the fourth when we return live here on NBCSN. Coach, tuck his strings in. Coach, tuck his strings in in the back. Tuck his strings in in the back.
All right, seconds out. Let's go, seconds out. All right, guys, round four, fight. You heard it, the fourth round here, World Series of Fighting 30, John Fitch in the black trunks, Juan Seferino in the red and blue, and now it's Seferino who comes out a little more aggressive. I really felt like that last round, John Fitch really controlled the action and really just enforced his will on Seferino. That's exactly what he did. And Seferino comes forward, but John Fitch is throwing. Seferino is conversing his energy. Conserving. And these I are said the, it wrong. Yep, so these are the championship <laughs> rounds. We are going four and then five. John Fitch, well, I'll tell you, his cardio and that diet that he's been on with Manny Torres really changing things, telling me he actually ate more but lost weight. It's wow. what he was eating. Reintroducing carbs, a lot of lean meat, chicken, getting it all done. Sounds good to me right now, but he said oh, just I can pounds eat it. were coming off and he looks lean. Interesting when you hear the corner of Joan Seferino giving him instructions in English. They know John Fitch speaks English, right? Like they do. <laughs> Their advantage would be the Portuguese. I would, yeah, always use that, right? And now Seferino coming to life. Wow. Yeah, it's always a combination. He's conserving energy. Yep, I truly agree so. And then explodes at the moment it's most important. Yep. John Fitch again, looking to be in control, loving his dirty boxing up against the cage, and slides right out. See the hands getting lower and lower for Zeferino as the fight goes on. Beautiful sprawl. Zeferino sees it coming. Fitch tags him with an uppercut. Put the fake on there, and Fitch now committed to it. He gets down. the takedown. You know, and this keeps on going, grinding again. I'm repeating myself. This is where he's known for. He's been doing this his entire life. On top of that, he's born on the 24th of February. What does that mean? Good people born on that day? That's it, right there. <laughs> it's except Ron. Mayweather, apparently, is also born on that day. Me not too. A, not a fan, huh? Not a big fan. As a boxer, yes, I am. Uh, but as a person, a little less. <laughs> Coming up on 90 seconds to go here, round number four. Fifth round is on the docket. Beautiful up kicks coming from Joan Seferino as he tries to fend out John Lang. He's going for the heel, a, 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 a knee bar. He's trying to wheel it in, but it's his, what is it? His left, his right foot is still there. Yeah, I don't he cannot do it yeah. like that. There's no chance. There's no way. He can try but push one knee in between. It's going to be very hard to do. And do you give credit to John Fitch for recognizing that, or is Seferino just does not have the strength these later rounds to pull it off? Yeah, it's the later rounds. Although that explosion that he gave just a minute ago yeah. there against the fence was really good. He didn't look tired at all. And now the Portuguese starting to flow with 50 seconds to go. <laughs> Desperate mode. Speak Portuguese. And again, he wants to throw it over. Yep. Yeah, but you know, John is right. He, 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 he trained with great uh, leg lock specialists. 
So John Finch, who's dedicating this fight to his father, Mike, watching back home in Indiana, recovering from that heart attack, and his son is doing some great work here in the championship rounds. The final 10 seconds, and we will go to a fifth and final round with the welterweight belt on the line. We'll have it for you live here on NBCSN when we return to Vegas. Make a statement with Beard Gains. A luxury beard brand. Combs, brushes, and organic care products that make your beard irresistible. Beard Gains, made for a man, but loved by women. Want to video chat with your favorite athletes? With Talk to Legends, you can. All you have to do is pick an athlete, check their availability, then schedule a video call. Download the Talk to Legends app or go to talktolegends.com for more information. Fight on. Possible legend in the making here, World Series of Fighting 30. John Fitch on the left, Joan Seferino on the right, one round to a belt. The winner of this fight takes home the welterweight belt, which was vacated. And John Fitch looks to be in great position right now, but Joan Seferino with his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu boss room, it only takes one mistake by Fitch, and Seferino will pounce. That's it, oh, or that, that spitting kick to the head. Very dangerous. If that connects, it slides out. The belt is being made ready even as we speak cage side. One of these men will have that put around their waist by President Ray Cepho and change their career forever, but still, a lot of work still to go. And these guys have been going at it hard now for more than 20 minutes here in the championship round. Nice uppercut there by Fitch. Oh. Nice right hand together with the takedown, and it's on the ground again. Now, we, if we learn from past fights tonight with takedowns, no. they didn't count. Didn't count for much. So, and he's fishing again there for the knee now. And now he's going for the bar. John Fitch needs to hook his left foot behind his knee. He needs to hook his left foot. That's it. That's it. And he needs to keep that here. Now he has to watch out for a toe hold on the other leg. That's how I actually want to fight. One time. He needs to pull out. Now. Kick his butt. Kick his butt with the other foot. There you go. Literally and, and figuratively. And John Fitch survives that one. Yep. Very nicely done. You wonder if that happened in the first round with Fitch being completely dry and no sweat if yeah. Zeferino can hold on to it and make it stick. Yep. But all the energy he has yeah. in the first round. Yep. And you know those are going to continue. <laughs> Still to come, the middleweight championship belt on the line. David Branch, the champion. And challenger Clifford Starks scheduled at 4-5. We'll have that after this fight wraps up here in Las Vegas, boss. With under three minutes to go, nice. is John Fitch on cruise control right now, or is he looking to end this fight still, do you believe? He's still on cruise control, just pushing, pushing. He sees opponents, his opponents slowing down, and he's just rinse and repeat, right? Let him rinse, repeat. That's what he's doing. It's working. Let's keep doing this. This is World Series of Fighting 30 live from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino inside the joint. John Fitch, Joan Seferino battling for the welterweight bout. Todd Harris, great boss, Rutten, and Joey Varner with you on the call. And for a quick report on Joan Seferino, we check in with Joey. Well, Todd, I'll tell you what, in the corner of Joan Zeferino, there was definitely a sense of urgency. His coaches told him, if you want it, you got to get it. You need a submission or a knockout to win. This is where you showcase your warrior spirit. This is where you showcase your heart. No question about exactly. it. Exactly. Yep. Boss, this is looking like it. Oh, this is looking like it might not even be a split decision, but possibly unanimous decision for Fitch if it stays this way. But he has got to be very careful. Seferino is exhausted. He has been beaten up a bit, but he is continually fishing 
for those legs. That's it. The wounded animal is always dangerous. And are you surprised that Fitch is on the ground with him instead of just standing and circling and striking and staying away from him? Well, yeah, no, and, and, yes, if I would look at it before, but you know when the fight started, Seferino was doing really well on sure. his feet. So, you know, once it gets equal, you automatically decide to go to game plan number two, let's see what I can do on the ground. If that is worse, I go back to the feet. It's better, hey, let's stay here. I'll tell you, if it was me, I'd be as far away from it as I could. I'd be over in Lucky's right now. You're sitting here behind the fence and talk about it. That's what you would do. Exactly. <laughs> Fitz dropping his head, constantly aware of Zeferino's skilled Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And this is, a pretty, this is a pretty safe seconds. place for him right here. This is a great place. He has to watch out, get it sit up, because Zeferino can put a leg lock on the left leg from John Fitch if he can wheel it in. And he's controlling that right wrist of Zeferino. Zeferino now using the left to fend off Fitch, who's doing a masterful job as John Fitch. And I can't believe he's stepping into this. That's always dangerous. 20 seconds, seconds to go. go. He's just going to pretzel him up. And Joel Seferino, as skilled as he is, absolutely gassed here. As we go down to the final seconds, the fans giving it up for two great warriors. We will have the official word and someone walking away with a belt when we return to Las Vegas. Great bout for the welterweight strap. We'll have the official decision live on NBCSN. Five rounds of championship fighting in the welterweight division have come and gone, and now is in the hands of the judges. One of these men will be the new welterweight champion of the World Series of Fighting. With the official decision, here is Jazz Securo. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds of fighting, we go to the judges' scorecards. Adelaide Bird, Patricia Morse Charman, and Tony Weeks all score this fight 50 to 45. Your winner by unanimous decision and new World Series of Fighting welterweight champion of the world, John Fitch! John Fitch, the winner by unanimous decision. He is the welterweight champion of the world in the World Series of Fighting. We'll speak with him when we return to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino.